Hey everybody, this is uh, Ziggy and Pyre and play Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, I totally forgot where we're going. It's been an entire like weekend since uh, since we last played. All I remember though is that we have a sweet ass Flappy, 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 <laughs> Flappy. <laughs> um, an ass Flappy. <laughs> we have sweet ass Flappy, and we have Fred Fifty Two here. Do we have any other Pokemon? I feel like we. Mm. No, we just had that, that, uh... You know what I'm gonna do before we start, like, running around at the speed of sound? Is figure out how many Pokeballs we have, because I don't want to be, like, running around. Three. That's not that good. Mm, like, what if we no. find a Pokemon that we want, and uh, we run yeah. out of Pokeballs? And then so. what if it breaks out? Exactly. Yeah, so uh, let's go find Pokeballs. Find, let's go buy them. Find them. Let's go find them in let's the wild. Let's go beat someone up and take their Pokeballs. So I can do that. Excuse me. Wow, it's beautiful. It's very attractive. Are you gonna excuse me? But sure, you're excused. Oh, <laughs> no, no problem. Um, I appreciate as I, as I was telling you off screen, off off recording, I've been watching Fringe, right? Ah, yeah. Yeah, and you you know what the show's about, right? It's like a science fictiony, like Twilight Zone meets X Files kind of thing. Yes, though I've never um, seen it. Right. So I was watching it. <clears throat> And I had this like oh shit moment, where I was like, the, one of the characters has to like make a defibrillator out of like just some electrical components, mm -hmm. and I had this like sudden realization, and I was like, oh god, it's a pop it, pop it, -ip. it's kind of cute. It's real cute. Um, I had this sudden realization that like, we bring humans back to life like by shooting electricity through their heart, mm -hmm. and that just fucking blew me away for like a minute and a half. Right. It's kind of terrifying. It is a little bit scary, isn't it? Mm hmm I don't know what to do. Do I catch this hop hop it? I think it's cute, but I don't think they're very good. Yeah, that's kind of the boat I'm in right now. Burn it shit. This is the the RSS. This Pokemon is cute, but not very good. Yep. That's yep. the name of the ship I'm sailing. <laughs> but yeah, no, like the whole show is about like crazy science that people do. Right. And, like, the one thing that blew my mind was not, you know, like, the, the telepathy. Crazy, crazy right. Yeah, it was, like, the real life, oh, shit, we actually, like, restart hearts mm -hmm. with a little paddles that shoot electricity through our bodies. Yeah, and it makes you think, too, about, like, how do you define death? You know what I mean? That's because true. Because a lot of people, I think, especially if someone they know or maybe themselves have had an experience like that and your heart stops mm -hmm. and it has to be... I was about to say, awoken, you know, mm -hmm. restarted. Yeah, so, right, right. Like a lot of people consider, you know, okay, your heart stopped, you died. Aiden. Yes, I was. <laughs> There's What's an April cord now. I saw that. You like turn around, you're like, I should get it. Nah, fuck it. Yeah. Blatant oh. disregard. <laughs> should get 10. Oh, God, that's 39. <laughs> I just want 10. I yeah, no, it's 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 interesting though, and like, uh, I fell in a hot tub when I was super tiny, and it had to be, it, by that definition, revived. Right. And so I've heard I've heard my dad say that before, like that's when you died. Wow. But then like I don't know, so you're it, still alive, right? Right. So and like, so I was when I was younger, especially I was always like, what does that mean? You know, like am I, actually I, didn't, I didn't die. I'm here right now. Yeah. You had a near-death experience. Yeah, I guess. He's like, you trying to like lower the, the value of my my dead body, <laughs> like my dying experience by calling it near death. I don't mean to, I don't mean it that way, Silas. No, I just don't. I don't know what I think about it, especially because I don't have any memory of it. You know what I mean? It's all right. Yeah. I I don't know. It's just interesting and and and. Uh, I think people similarly have different definitions of you're such a motherfucker. <laughs> I'll go back and get it. Uh, have definitions, different definitions of near death experience as well. You know, where it's like, right. oh man, I totally disaster averted. I could have just died there. Right, right. Versus like, I was actually almost dead. Right. <laughs> Like, oh, I fell, and if I had been, like, three feet to my right, I would have landed on, like, a nail, and I'd be dead. Right. But it, as opposed to, like, I, my heart stopped for, like, a minute, and I was basically, like, not breathing. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but they brought my heart back, so I was like almost dead. Right. Or was I dead? Also, I've never really thought about. I think I have thought about this, but I've never gone through with that thought before. Mm -hmm. In like when people are doing CPR, <clears throat> especially in movies and whatnot, like if someone's like, "Oh no, he just got him out of you know the ocean or whatever," right? Pull him out of the water, you know, and they're like doing CPR. Mm-hmm. Are like. Well, I was gonna say, by doing CPR, you're not actually reviving them and keeping them from being dead. They're probably just unconscious, right? Right. But I guess the implication is that if they're unconscious, the water or whatever is lodged in their throat or their lungs isn't gonna get out, and then they would eventually die anyway. Is that... Right, right. Something. I don't. I don't know. Ones. I never really thought about it, but I don't know the immediate like the science behind. Other than just shooting water out of somebody's mouth. Um, like, I don't know the science behind uh, CPR. Mm. I, like, I don't think that they, like, punch your heart and then it, like, starts beating again. Right. I don't think that's I don't think that's how it works. I it's think you're still air. alive when it happens, yeah. Right, right, right. Is this, I think this girl fights me. You probably already yeah. did. Pardon me, Pokemon Battle. I'm on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, she's oh, just, okay. she's, like, one of the few Pokemon trainers that's facing away from you. Hmm. And you have to, like, actually go up and talk to her. <laughs> I thought I said her name was Panicker. Panicker Liz. Panicker Liz. Oh, oh, oh. Nidoran, go! Oh, who are you? Oh. Dead. Yep, fucking murdered. Uh, Dead I just had a chance. That was a near... Yeah, but that was by fire. I don't think, you know, a defibrillator is going to help that Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah. It was gonna be a joke, and then it was just gonna be a shitty joke, so I just stopped. Yes, you know my phone number. She's hot. We're gonna give her my phone number. She panics a little, a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. She's cute. <laughs> she doesn't I'm down. really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, doing grass. Okay, we made it. Nice. Well done. Mm -hmm. I, we, we're barely making it where, like, we're playing at sundown, so, like, we're barely getting Pokemon that are. Not nighttime Pokemon. Right. We have a fishing rod, by the way. We do have a fishing rod, but it's an old rod, so basically, if we want to catch some Magikarp, that's right. We can be down to do that. <laughs> do this. <clears throat> I think we're going to a cave next, right? Mm, I want to say we're going to a cave. I hope it's not the one so. that requires Flash. I don't think it is. I think the one that we skipped is the one that requires Flash. Oh, that one is just. I, that wasn't on Tune at all. Well, actually, it was fairly close to on tune, and it was probably the closest you've been to on time as well. Huh. In tempo. So, congratulations for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, god damn it! Aha! I knew he was there too, because I walked by him the first time. It's from you Violent City. Violent? No, it's Violent City. No, it's from Violent City. Violent City! Bird Keeper Peter. That's such a great name. Well, what is Peter doing keeping birds? Mm, not training them very much, that's for sure. No, like level six. How, okay, so that's my question too, is like, how do you find trainers past the gym leaders who are weaker than the gym leaders? Because don't you have to beat gym leaders to like progress? No matter who you are? I mean, physically, can't you just kind of go anywhere? No, because usually people will be like, hold up, you don't have the badge. Sorry, I can't let you through here. Yeah, I always just imagine that those people are like, Specifically for you or something? Well, not as much that as it is just like something's different. Like they're not, they're not like, oh, I'm a trainer to win. They're just like a person with a yeah, Pokemon. Yeah. Gotcha. I yeah. don't know why. It just seems different. The other thing that I was always like, huh, was they. You start in the town like that's right next to the the, the first gym. But what about the people who are born into the town that's like next <laughs> to the eighth gym? Right. You know, and they're like, oh, here's my, like, l level 7 Pokemon. Let's go to the gym and, like, battle for our first badge. And he's got, like, level 50, you know, fucking psychic types. And you're like, well, he just murdered my Pokemon in <laughs> 10 seconds. Dude, that'd be, like, the worst middle school politics ever. <laughs> I know, right? But he said that she said that you said that you had a Pidgey at this level. <laughs> you lied to me. Now I'll never be a Pokemon trainer because my Pokemon are dead. <laughs> it's like that's what happens when you put a level 50 against your like level four Rattata. There's just Sorry. like hierarchy, a hierarchy of like children with their like baseline 
leveling standards. <laughs> for us, it's like, oh, level three. And for like all the other kids who are like way down the road, they're like, ah, oh, I just got my Pokemon. I have to go all the way to level 50 before he's even <laughs> viable at all. Oh, how sad. Like, yeah, and the only training you can do is like against the like level 15 Pokemon that are in the grass outside your house. <laughs> you just go through Pokemon like a bag of popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, he was level 5, but this one I found in the grass is like level 36. <laughs> this is my 15th Star Wars Pokemon. <laughs> they just go through them so fast. Professor Oak's like all sick and tired because <laughs> he's like, these are the rarest Pokemon around. And he's like, can I have another? Mine died. And she's like, God oh. fucking damn it. <laughs> Don't you guys know how to train anything. Slams table. Pokeballs roll off. They're all released all at once. He has to go catch them all. Oh, God. I think I should probably stop Faulty running. Faulty Pokeballs sound terrifying. Faulty Pokeballs? Like, mm -hmm. in that they catch the Pokemon wrong, or...? Oh, God. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Releases the Pokemon, it's like missing limbs. <laughs> it's all distorted. It's like... <laughs> Can you imagine, like, the early stages of the Pokeball testing when they were oh, first no. developing it? <laughs> they just couldn't get it right. Oh, no. Back when you it's... had to just stuff them in a bag. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Guys, this one's on can fire. tell us all about it. I'm sure you can. Uh, no! We, we, all our Pokemon are weak against rock types. That's okay, we can catch one. It's not very effective, but almost killed it. You can catch him. I could catch him, and I like Geodude a lot, but I'll tell you why I'm not gonna catch him. Because hmm. can't, I can't evolve Graveler. Oh, that's true. I don't want to carry a ground of Graveler the entire game. Seems yeah. shitty. If I'm gonna get Pokemon, I want Pokemon that can evolve. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, no, I'm metagaming this Pokemon game, but I'm sorry. Man, we really don't. We should have kept that Bell Sprout. <laughs> Would have kicked ass in here. At level three. Was it at level three? Was it really that shitty? Uh, maybe a little more than that, but not much. Honestly, though, like, considering our Pokemon are such higher level, then I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, me neither. We're just going to start quick attacking all the Rattatas. Oh, you lived! Ah. God damn it. What a whore. Whoa. Don't we use that kind of language. Yeah, that's right. We're going to alienate viewers, dog. They don't even want to show up. It's your dirty mouth. Yeah. Dirty, dirty mouth. Oh, my God. Look at this man. I Yeah, I am. Are you ready for the fight? I'm ready. I'm talk to my Pokemon. He's scared. He's standing, oh, he's standing guard. guard. I would be too with that man lying around. It's like fire breather, right? There's a light cave and it's scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh, yeah. Damn. Fire breather Ray. He's got a Vulpix. Oh, Vulpix is so great. Vulpix is kind of cute. Quick attack. Kablamo. Fucking wrecked. Mm -hmm. Roar. You make me switch out Pokemon? Too bad my Flaffy's still gonna kick your ass. For real. It was dragged out, kicking yep. and screaming. Yep. Not happy about it. Thunder shocked. That was a bad choice on your part. It's okay. They both got experience. That's the best. That's I love, best. uh, like. Leveling Whoa. Pokemon that way, where you just pull them out at the front and then immediately switch them out and they still get the experience. It is the best. It's wonderful. That's how you're supposed to do it with like Magikarp and shit. And Kakuna. And whatever the other one that's not Kakuna. Metapod. Right. But they just can't attack. Zubat. I hate Zubat, and I'll tell you why. Mm. Can you guess? The one thing that Zubat does that's a pain in the ass. Supersonic. Supersonic's the worst move in the whole game. <laughs> Makes me so upset. There's nothing worse than having like a super high level Pokemon and the Zubat gets a Supersonic in. And then you just start killing yourself very, very quickly. And it's very sad. There was nothing down here, I've been ruse. It's a fluke. It was just items. It's a Judad. I don't want to mess with him. Get him out of here. Burn. We really, need a, we really need a water type, I feel like. That's true. 
I burned him. I really did. That's really funny. Yep. How do you burn a rock? I have no idea. Not a clue. But he got burned, so he's not going to live for very long. That's true. Do you think he feels it? Do you think Geodude feels pain? I mean, he's got to feel something, otherwise he wouldn't pass out. That's true. Well, that's not... Is that true? Maybe he just has true. a really short... Uh, I was going to say attention span, but like his... his he, he doesn't like... You don't win, he just falls asleep. <laughs> he's like a... <coughs> not an insomniac, whatever the opposite of that is. Uh... Uh, I'm thinking of all the adjectives that are related to that. Narcoleptic. Narcoleptic. There you go. I was like lethargic. Well, I mean, you, yeah. Lethargia. I don't think someone can be a, <laughs> a, a, a lethargic. A lethargic. A, a, a lethargic. <laughs> Man, I know Salas. He's a real lethargic. <laughs> Doesn't do anything but like, kind of just sit around all day and go. Eh. Mm. You know what was the scariest thing? I once came home to my cat, like, being super tired and lethargic. And it was, like, really scary, because my cat is never, never lethargic. He's always, like, the most hyper or annoying cat that's ever existed. So, like, it's good, because we... Oh, shit. We knew immediately that there was something wrong, but it was really scary and frightening. We mm -hmm. think the doctor. The little cat doctor. That's not fun. The little cat doctor? Is that different than the regular cat doctor? Yeah, he's tiny. He's like four foot three. Oh, oh, oh the doctor's little. Yeah. I thought he would only see little cats. <laughs> you would only see little cats. My cat's not little. That's true. He's fairly decent. Oh, critical hit! Nice. It's not Itch. very effective. <laughs> Onyx is like, oh, why is this hurt? Why oh, is this hurt? Why is this hurt? God, it's gonna be so long before we evolve again. It makes me so sad. Is it? Yeah, he doesn't evolve to like level 36. Oh, that's right. He's the last one to evolve to his third stage. Is he really? Yeah, so like, I think they evolve at 16. Maybe there's one that evolves at 14. He evolved at 14, right? Yeah. So 14, 16, and 18. And if you're the one that evolves immediately, like really fast, it mm. takes them longer to evolve to third form. Right, right. Yeah. Who's in the, I don't know in the middle? Huh? I don't remember which one's in the middle. But he evolves at level 34 or something like that. Or 32. Damn. Yeah. You headed to... Azalea? Azalea Banks. Oh, Azalea Banks. Why not? Do, do, do. Hiker Russell. It looks like Russell. Yeah. In a few years. Kind of. Got the right beard. <clears throat> what are you doing with one level 4 Geodude? <laughs> I seriously have been running into Geodudes that are stronger than your Geodude. Correct. <laughs> that was so sad. I mean, there's not a whole lot down there to challenge him, I guess. Just Geodudes oh. fighting Geodudes. How many Geodudes? He has three level four oh, Geodudes. Okay. Oh, he's got a level six. No shit. Uh, we're running out of PP for Ember. PP. Wow. Fair 52. When did you get so strong? Yeah. Back so when he got his Mohawk, I guess. Got a pretty sweet Mohawk. For real. I'm jealous. I'm a little jealous too. Oh my god, level 8. You think we're gonna get him? Burn him. Nope. Oh my god, wow, <laughs> holy shit. That one level up that we had a minute ago totally just put us over the top. Two's gaining experience. How would you feel if I got a mohawk? What do you think? Uh, I honestly can't even, like, I try and visualize <laughs> that and I just see a black. Black slate, nothing. <laughs> Just the black. My my brain shuts off the moment yeah. I try thinking about it. Yep. So I I don't think I can accurately answer your question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would probably have a feeling or two. A feeling or two? I have a feeling that Emily wouldn't be happy with me. <laughs> That's my feeling. But I might do it anyway. Really? Also, no. Oh. <laughs> Did I tell you that my mustache is finally getting long enough that I could probably curl it? Yes. Yeah, it's actually to the point where I could probably curl it and be like a, a villain or a, a strong man. Or, or you know, half of Portland. Or half of Portland. That's true. I didn't think about that. It was cooler back when there was nobody else doing it. <laughs> well, yeah, and to be fair, like, if you did it, it'd be significantly different just because you're not the same. What does that mean? I don't know. You don't like. You're you're awesome, <laughs> basically. 
But I'm. But the, the more I've been thinking about it, the more I realize that I am like, still like one of the most hipster people I know, which is. Yeah, but you're not, not trying. That's the that's no. the point. Yeah. And no. there are so many people in Portland who are. Yeah. Like I was talking to Dan yesterday. Um, we were at the sh at Winko, like shopping for stuff for our party on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, we, like three of us were wearing flannels. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was like, oh god, like, we, and we were talking about how, like, people would, would just think that we're looking pretty, uh, pretty stereotypical Portland. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I all, I've always worn flannels for forever, mm -hmm. and it's because I'm a really sweaty person. Um, I, I armpit sweat a lot. Like, it doesn't matter how much deodorant I put on. So there's always, like, pit stains, and so to counteract that, I put on an overshirt so that nobody can see the pit stains, right? So sure. the whole point is that. It wasn't because I was like... Man, flannel. I mean, I do think flannel looks good on me, and I, but it's not like for hipster reasons. It's for sure. like to make sure that people don't go, oh shit, that guy, he just sweat through like six layers of clothing. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as music goes, I don't really have much choice in that, you know? Like, you like the music you like. Yeah. I like hipster music. Just how it's gonna be. Oh god. Rattatas. All the Rattatas, I can't handle it right now. Someone let the Rattata out of the bag. Someone let the Rattata out of the bag. Kill it! Kill maybe it's it. like a maybe it's like a barrel of monkeys, so just just a bag full of Rattatas. A bag of Rattatas. Mm -hmm. I want that to just be the the, the third evolution of the Rattata. <laughs> just a bag full of Rattatas. Yeah, or like just a bag full of Radicates. Ah. Like the Mega Evolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mega Radicates. So. I, I just realized this episode's been going on for pretty long. Nope. Um, yeah, and we're still stuck in this cave. Next episode, we're going to get out of the cave. <gasps> All right. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you on the next one. I was waiting for Silas to say something. but I'm not going to say anything. Okay. I don't talk. All right. I do not talk. I am talk. just a rapper. Is okay. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to put the end of the episode somewhere around there. <laughs>